All right, here's the new attic tray I've been working on. Uh, it sits on top of the traction brackets that I'm selling already. Um, this tray is about 10 and a half inches to here. There's a back lip on this side. It's about two and a half inches. And to the ceiling, it's about, I well, know it's hard to see, about four inches of clearance right there. And so in mine, I've got a three inch by 30 foot recovery strap. I've got my ARB air hose. I've got a down blanket, my Bronco hammock, and a foldable shovel all up there. I think I'm gonna, I need to get a recovery uh, rope and I'll put that up there as well. So plenty of room. Um, I think the only really challenge I had was trying to figure out how to have enough room right here um, to be able to get your, your equipment up in there. Um, we've got about four inches of clearance through here and about four inches from the top there. So you can get up to, I think a four inch strap would be really tight. Um, three inches is ideal. Um, you see, I did have to set it back from the bracket. Ideally, this, this shelf would have come all the way out to here. Um, but that would have only given us about two inches of clearance on the, on the mic hardtop to be able to get anything up in there. Um, so I did have to slide it back. Um, I do also have my traction board brackets on the higher um, setting. I can drop that down a little bit and, and get, some more, get some more vertical clearance up here to get your four inch strap and, and uh, ropes and shackles and, and other things like that up in there. I originally thought I was gonna strap all this stuff in, um, but it actually sits tight enough that I haven't strapped anything in yet. Um, this rear lip um, should keep anything from moving and sliding forward in an accident. Um, we got a little clearance there from the speaker as well. These are uh, very adjustable, so you can slide that tray towards the front of the vehicle or towards the rear of the vehicle. You can see the slots go all the way through. So you can, if you've got boards like the ARB GT Pro, Tread Pro, um, you can mount the boards up underneath here. Um, because they do fit in between here and, and the other roll bar. They're short enough to fit in between the two. Uh, Max tracks and, and other boards are a little too long um, to fit between the brackets so they won't mount underneath. Uh, but the ARB GT Tread GT boards will and any other boards that are approximately that length. All right, I should have these um, produced and back from cutting and bending this week and then off to powder coat. So maybe about two weeks before I have these available to ship out.